Welcome back dear students. So today we are starting a new chapter, chapter number 20 on menstruation. Okay, so name of the chapter is area and perimeter of plane figures. So today I'm going to give you few formulae that you have learned in class 8 also. Okay, so basically this exercise is the revision of what you have done in class 8. Okay, so let's see the formula that we need to learn in this particular exercise. Okay, so here you have the formula that you need to learn. Okay, so we have, see, AB, okay, ABC is a triangle whose measurements are given to be A, B and C. Okay, so length of BC is A, length of AC is B and length of AB is C. Now, perimeter of this triangle with sides A, B and C will be equals to A plus B plus C. Area, there are three formula for area. One is half into base into height. Another is area of an equilateral triangle. So this is only for equilateral triangle, remember. Okay, where you know in equilateral triangle, all the sides will be equal to each other, isn't it? Okay, so in equilateral triangle, the area will be root 3 by 4 into side square. Side stands for measurement of each side. And uh, another very important one is Heron's formula. Okay, so this is your Heron's formula where this S stands for semi-perimeter. Okay, so semi-perimeter means half of the perimeter. So A plus B plus C gives you perimeter and divided by 2, you get semi-perimeter. So this is the formula for your triangles only okay so this is the formula which are used only for triangles okay so you may pause the video and note down your formula let's see the first question for the day so question says find the area of the triangle whose sides are 18 centimeter 24 centimeter and 30 centimeter okay so first you need to find the area so let's find area first okay so i'll read out the second part of the question as as soon as we are done with the area Okay, so the sides are given to be 18 centimeter, 24 centimeter and 30 centimeter. So remember here you are given three sides, isn't it? So if three sides are given, then this becomes your A, this becomes your B and this becomes your C. Three sides of the triangle. Okay. Right. Okay, so we have three sides of the triangle A, B and C out here. Okay, now let's calculate what is semi-perimeter. All of you know, semi-perimeter is A plus B plus C whole divided by 2. Okay, so when you add them and divide by 2, you get 36. So, semi-perimeter is 36. Now, you have got semi-perimeter, you have got A, B and C. So, obviously, you have to make use of Heron's formula for calculating the area. Okay, remember if you no three sides then you always need to make use of Heron's formula so the area of the triangle is so formula for Heron's Heron's formula is this one isn't it put the value of s s is 36 okay so put the value of s put the value of a okay and if you do this do the simplification 36 minus 18 18 36 minus 24, 12, 36 minus 36. And when you do the calculation out here and find the square root, you get your answer to be 216 centimeter squared. Okay, so this is your area for the triangle with the sides 18, 24 and 30. Okay, so we got the first answer. That is the area. Now let's read the second part of the question. Listen to the question carefully. Question says, find the length of altitude corresponding to the largest side of the triangle now what is the meaning of this let's try to understand okay so there's a triangle okay so the sides are given to be 18 24 and 30. now which one is the largest side out here because they are talking about the largest side largest side is 30. so the altitude corresponding to 30 is this one okay so this height you see this is the altitude now if this is your altitude if this is your height then can i call this to be base obviously right so that's why 
See, what am I going to use is, I am going to use another formula for area in order to calculate my height. And what is the other formula for area? Other formula for area is half into base into height. Okay, so area, you know that area is how much? 216, just now you have calculated, right? And base, as I told you, base is 30. And height, do you know what is height? You don't know height, so keep it as H. Okay, so from here, calculate H. So when you calculate H, you get 14.4. First and foremost, you can cancel this. Okay, so bring this 15 to the denominator and find what is 216 by 5, 15. You'll find out that it is nothing but 14.4 centimeter. So I got the height also. Okay, that is the altitude corresponding to the largest side of the triangle is how much? 14.4 centimeter. All right, so you may pause the video and note down your solution. All right, so let's look at this formula, uh, this particular problem. Okay, so in this problem, it is given that the length of the size of a triangle are in the ratio 3 is to 5 is 4 is to 5. Find the area of the triangle if its perimeter is 144 centimeter. Okay. So basically here what is happening is, so you have, see here carefully, you have the ratio of three sides given, okay. So if the ratio is given is in a, uh, if the ratio is given to be 3 is to 4 is to 5, then you can take um, the each side, okay. So that means A to be 3x, B to be 4x and C to be 5x. So that's what I have done here, all right. So given that perimeter is this much. So perimeter is 144 means what? Perimeter means A plus B plus C is given to be 144. Now put the value of A, B and C. Okay, so you get 3x plus 4x plus 5x. A is 3x, B is 4x, C is 5x. Add them up, you get 12x. So from here, calculate what is x. So it turns out to be 12. So we got the value of x. So let's put the value of x out here. You get your A, B and C. Okay, so you get A, B and C. So 3 into 12 is 36. Three, 4 into 12 is 48, right? And 5 into X, that is 5 into 12 is 60. So we got A, B and C. Now you are asked to find what is the area. So for that, you need to obviously, since you have got three sides A, B and C, you have to make use of Heron's formula, isn't it? So make use of Heron's formula, find semi-perimeter and you will find out what will be your area okay so you may pause the video and complete the sum by yourself okay so let's look at this particular problem so in this problem it is given that triangle abc okay abc is a triangle in which ab is equals to ac equals to 4 centimeter and angle a is 90 degree so basically this diagram is not given in book i have drawn it for you so it is c Angle A is given to be 90 degrees. So from the diagram, it is quite clear that angle A is 90 degree. Okay. Now, it is given that AB and AC are equal. Okay. So this is my AC and this is my AB. So they are equal and their length is how much? The length is given to be 4 centimeter each. So this is 4 centimeter and this is also 4 centimeter. Okay. Question is asking you to find the area of the triangle. Okay, now find the length of the perpendicular from A to BC. This is my second part. Okay, so first find, let's find what is the area of this triangle. Okay, now if you call this as base, if you call this as base, this becomes your height. Okay, because this is perpendicular, isn't it? So if this is perpendicular, then I can call this to be the height of the triangle. So that's why area of the triangle is given by half into base into height base is AB and height is AC okay so put the values so when you do the cancellation okay so you get 2 into 4 which is 8 square centimeter so area of this triangle is how much it is 8 centimeter square okay now look at this look at this diagram very carefully question is asking you find the length of the perpendicular from A to BC so from A you have to draw a perpendicular on BC. So if you call this to be let's say BD AD then you have to find what is this AD. 
okay so before that before that what am i going to do is let me find what is bc okay because you know if you want to find a height you must know the base also right because we have seen one problem the first problem isn't it where if you want to find the height you should know the base okay so base that is bc has to be calculated now for that what am i going to do is i'll make use of pythagoras theorem in triangle abc now if this is your 90 degree side opposite to this that is bc becomes your hypotenuse isn't it so that's what we need to first calculate okay now okay so all of you know area is half into base into height now base is bc isn't it i told you base is bc and height becomes this one so this ad is taken to be h okay so half into base that is bc into height that is h so this is the formula for area okay now let's calculate bc okay so for calculating bc i am using pythagoras theorem so i have shown it directly here so let me show it here okay so using pythagoras theorem you can write this also so using pythagoras theorem so you have bc square is equals to ab square plus bc uh, ac square okay so ab is, is 4 so it becomes 4 square plus ac is also 4 so it becomes 4 square so bc square bc will be square root of 4 square plus 4 square that's what is written out here in place of bc i have written this much okay and area is all of you know it is 8 okay so from here okay so if you calculate this this 16 plus 16 which is 32 so if you find the square root you will find that this is nothing but 4 root 2 okay now so from here okay so from here from this what you can do is you have 8 equals to half into this is how much is this this is 4 root 2 isn't it so this is 4 root 2 into h so this and this gets cancelled so you have 2 root 2 so from here h is 8 by 2 root 2 so if you convert this into decimal that time you get this equals to 2.83 okay and since all the units are in centimeters so that's why your height will also be in centimeter okay so you may pause the video and note down your solution okay let's look at next question so next question is based on equilateral triangle okay so question says the area of equilateral triangle is 36 root 3 square centimeter find its perimeter okay so you know area of equilateral triangle is given by this so this is the formula now how much is e given e is given to be 36 root 3 isn't it see e is given to area is given to be 36 root 3 so now you, what you can do is you can cancel root 3 and root 3 okay now bring this 4 out here okay so when you multiply 4 and 36 you get 144 so side is square is 144 so from here side will be square root of 144 which is 12 centimeter okay so we got our each side of the you know uh, equilateral triangle so if you have each side that is a a and a then can't you find out what is its perimeter it's going to be a plus a plus a that is three times a right a plus a plus a is 3a so that's why perimeter will be 3 times a a means each side so each side is given to 12 so multiply 3 into 12 you get 36 centimeter so your perimeter turns out to be 36 centimeter okay so you may pause the video and note down your solution let's look at next question so next question on the screen says find the area of an isosceles triangle with perimeter 36 centimeter and base is 16 centimeter okay so see this diagram carefully so this is my isosceles triangle whose base is given to be 16 centimeter okay now each sides are now equal size see in isosceles triangle you know that equal there are two equal sides so let me take the equal sides to be a and a so what will be the perimeter then a plus a to a 2a plus 16 right so the perimeter will be 2a plus 16 and this perimeter is given to be 36 okay so from here if you calculate a it will be 36 
minus 16 will divide by this 2 goes to the denominator. So this gives you length of each side, each equal side. Okay, so that's what is being done here. Okay, so the perimeter or equal side turns out to be exactly 10 centimeter. Okay, so that's what we have got here. Now, see, we have got the three sides, isn't it? So you have got A, which is 10 centimeter, another A that is 10 centimeter, and the third side. Okay, so what you can do is you can call this as A, you can call this as second side B, and you can call this as third side C. So that's what I have done here. So you have A, B, and C. Now you are asked to find what is the area. So can't you use again Heron's formula and find out what is the area? Definitely, right? So you will use Heron's formula for finding the area. Okay, so you may pause the video and note down till here.